guys, welcome back to Ellie and the Darger, and today I am going to be paint pouring. So I got orange, blue, yellow, and purple. So those are the colours that we're going to be paint pouring with. Okay, so you have to start with the glue and you need one third cup glue. So you start pouring. Okay, you don't want to put too much, we're just making sure we have enough. And not that one, those ones. So, now we need the colours. So, I'm going to start with blue with this one. So, move ones to the side. Unscrew blue, first time using it. Take this off. So, now time for the blue. <laughs> so, I don't want to put too much. And you can add more whilst you're mixing. I have small cups. So, I'm going to use a little small red spoon. And you just start mixing. So you see that blue that it's creating? Very nice, vibrant blue. Okay, so you might need to add a little bit of water because it might be too thick and you don't want layers going over each other, but that's fine. And it might feel really wet, but it'll be drier when you're done mixing. I forgot there was glue in this. Next color is the purple. So I know this would look really cool. Okay, so start mixing. Screw the lid on. And nice purple. You don't need to add any water. Yeah. Okay, so you just mix, add water, and maybe some more glue. Oh, not heaps, but yeah. See, you want it to sink down quickly when you go like that. Okay, next color is yellow. Oh, very bright yellow. It actually looks a lot brighter than, like it looks a lot yellower than what it does in the camera. It's actually like the right consistency. Okay, next color, orange. Okay, so put the cap on, and it's mixing time. Ooh, it doesn't look that orange, but it actually looks like what it shows on here. You can clearly see that this isn't the right consistency because it's not like going down instantly in there. So you just add a little bit of water until it goes down like almost instantly. And you go like that, so mix it. And it, you can feel it getting watery. You might think too watery, but if you mix it enough, it'll feel normal and it will go down quicker. Time for the bit that you've all been waiting for, the pour painting. But first you have to pour the paint into a cup. So we're starting with blue. And then we're going to get the orange. So, hopefully I have enough. Then get the yellow, and last but not least, purple. Oh, that looks nice. It still doesn't look that good on camera, but the yellow is very vibrant. And pretty much all of the purple. So... Now we're going to pour it onto the canvas. So it starts off with all purple and then you got the streaks. And you want to make sure you get it evenly. I didn't really do it here. But then it just turns blue. I think I'll use a little bit too much blue. But yeah, I did too much on the outer layers. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to have enough. So I have to add some more but 
you want to have more than enough if you're going to do this because you don't want to do what I did. So I had to add, get some more. But yeah, here we go. I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so now I'm just filling them up all the gaps in the middle because you can get the edges easily but not the middle and now i'm picking it up and spreading all the paint so there's so it's even yep evening it out and it looks so different from now to the actual final result so stay tuned for that whilst you're waiting to see the final result you may as well hit that like button and subscribe with post noties on post notifications so just getting it all up in the corners and stuff this isn't that good of a canvas it was only five dollars but yeah works good enough okay final result in a couple of seconds three two one bam final result so that's what it looks like and it is so cool so if you want me to do this again please like share subscribe i've already said that's all for today bye guys actually that's not all for today because i'm posting day seven is it oh my god but yeah just see you all later bye guys